Hi, it's John here at Primal Woods. I did the open and inspect of this hive number one yesterday. Fall off the horse, get back on. So this video is about what we'll be doing differently, uh, at least in part, in 2017. So for a hive stand, you can see more clearly at this, uh, what was hive number four last year. Uh, simpler is better. I used two standard 8 by 8 by 16 concrete building blocks and then on top of those is uh, two 4 by 8 by 16 solid concrete blocks so total height of that is 12 inches and then the hive stands that i built are an additional four inches high so that total to the hive floor would be 16 inches on this hive i'm going to use a screened bottom board that I bought from the Warre store last year, but I did not install it. So basically the, the bottom of the hive is open. Um, that's some eighth inch mesh hardware cloth. Uh, if there's a Varroa mite uh, infestation in the hive, the idea is that as the bees fight the Varroa mites, the mites fall. They would fall through this mesh and not be able to get back into the hive, which would be better than having them stay on a solid floor where they could latch on to the bees as the bees are coming and going. Um, they also sell this grid. Uh, this is not always on the hive, but there's a slot here for it to go in. using that bottom board this year for hive number one. Basically when I set a box on here, uh, the bottom of the box is going to form the top of the opening for the bees to come and go through the hive. Okay so this this hive had uh, four boxes on it last year. Uh, the top two were full of comb, the top one was also full of honey. So I'm going to build this in reverse order. We're going to start with three boxes this year. The first box is empty. I cleaned up the top bars with my hive tool just to remove the uh, wax, most of the wax and, and any propolis that the bees had, had stuck to that. And then next up would be uh, box number two from last year. So this box was full of brood comb, uh, but it was not full of wax. So that goes on. Box number one from last year. This box is full of honey. Uh, so I'm putting this box back on. Now this box had the little bit of mold at the bottom there in the center. I didn't attempt to take that off. I have advice that the bees will take care of that when they move in. So that goes back on. Okay, and then finally, the quilt. Now, you might be able to see a couple openings here. This is where I set the feeders. Uh, I will probably feed the bees for at least a couple weeks, but not too much more. Since they have a full box of honey, uh, they really shouldn't need a lot of help uh, getting off the ground this year. Okay, so this is the quilt, empty obviously. I just used some screen door material. Last year I added these holes. These were not part of the original design, but I could tell that even the little bit of air that gets into the quilt had no way of, of escaping from there because the top of the quilt box forms a tight seal with the inside of the roof. So there goes the quilt. Okay, and then I talked about sawdust. So this year 
uh, we're doing sawdust. This is from our milling operation, and this happens to be white oak. I don't know that the species makes a difference, but if it does, for the record, this is white oak. And then finally, uh, after that, it's just the roof. As you can see, the roof, the inside of the roof, this roof deck is just a solid piece of three-quarter inch plywood. So there's a seal that basically forms between the top of the quilt, as I said, and the inside of the roof. And then there's no way for it to escape. But with these holes now, uh, air can go out of these holes, and then there's space between the sides, the inside of the roof and the outside of the quilt, so that, that air can escape. So with that, we're back in business on hive number one for 2017.